In this video, we are going to continue with quadratic equations and we are going to focus on solving quadratic equations by using the quadratic formula. So this is the last method we are going to look at. We can use the completing the square method to find another method for solving quadratic equations. Take the quadratic formula. Divide by a to get 1x squared. Then take the middle term, divide it by 2 and square it and add it to both sides. And then factorize there, that's exactly what I did, simplify this and then take the square root on both sides plus minus and then by bringing this over, there is my quadratic formula. And this is the most useful method of solving quadratic equations. It's just very important that you study or memorize that formula. So hence we have the quadratic formula, the roots. You need to know this formula off by heart. Very important. So it's minus b plus minus, then it's b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So let's look at the formula. Solve the equation using the quadratic formula and give your answer correct to two decimal places. So in this case, this is the formula. The value in front of x squared, that will be a. In front of x will be b. And the constant, just grab that sign, will be c. Then I just take this formula and I basically just do substitution. Very important, substitute in brackets so that you don't make sign mistakes. So I substitute and then I simplify. A negative times a negative, positive, 36. A negative times a negative, positive, 4 times 1 times 4 will be 16. And then I just use my calculator and another mistake students made. As soon as you come to the end, press 6 plus square root 52 equals divide 2. Okay, otherwise it's first going to do the division and you first want it to do the addition or the subtraction. Okay, so very important. In the same year, 6 minus square root 52 equals divide 2. And there is your two solutions. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number A. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start with number A. Try now 29. So in this case, it's going to be x squared plus 7x plus 10 and that's equal to 0. So there's the 1. Okay, I'm just going to do it like this. So this is A, this is B, and this is C. Now, first thing, write down your formula. What is the formula? It's x equals minus b plus minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Okay, so I substitute. In the place of b, put your negative. In the place of b, 7. In the place of b again, 7 squared minus 4 in the place of a, 1. In the place of c, 10 over 2 in the place of a, 1. So it's negative 7 plus minus, 7 times 7 is 49 minus 40. And that will be over 2. So it's negative 7 plus minus 49 minus 49 over 2. So then I'm just going to my two options and I'm just going to write it out. It's not necessary. <coughs> but in this case, <coughs> I'm just going to show you divide. This is my first option. <coughs> and my other option, <coughs> sorry, will be negative 7 minus 3 over 2. And then my two answers, this will be negative 4 divided by 2, that's negative 2, or x equals negative 10 divided by 2, that's negative 5. 
Actually, this one could have factorized also. But the nice thing, only some formulas can be solved by factorization, but all formulas can be solved by using the formula or completing the square. Okay, let's look at another example. <coughs> In this case, exactly the same. This is A, this is B, this is C. Just grab that signs in front. Then just write your formulas. Do substitution in brackets. Very important. And then just simplify. And this is your positive. And as I said, you can actually just leave it like this and just press on your calculator. Negative 3 plus square root 41 equals divide negative 8. Negative 3 minus square root 41 equals divide negative 8. And what is this answer's meaning? Just like the previous, it's where it cuts the x-axis. But as soon as we get to graphs, we're going to go deeper into that. But it's important now that you know this solutions or this roots, uh, that is the answers of x, is where it cuts the x-axis. Okay. Um, I want you to, to stop the video and I want you to do try now 30 number A. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Okay, so in, in number A, so this is going to be 3x squared plus 6x plus 2, and that's going to be 0. So solve the following quadratic, giving your answers to two decimal places. But I want you to use the formula. Okay, before we use the formula, let's just make this a. Grab that sign, I like, otherwise you're going to forget if it's a negative. So it's just a, b, c. And then what is the formula? And you have to know this, minus b plus minus b squared minus 4ac over 2, oh, that stripe is too long, over 2a. So it's minus b, so it's going to be 6 squared minus 4, 3, 2, over 2a. So it's negative 6 plus minus 36 minus, and now just going to start multiplying. This is going to be 4 times 3 is 12, times 2 is going to be 24. Um, four. Let's try now 30, number A. Oh, let's just get the pen again. Mm, let's just... 24 over 6. Okay. And then this is going to be... This is going to be negative 6 plus minus... 36 minus 24, that is going to be 12 over 6. I'm just going to move this a bit down. So, and then you actually can press it already in on your calculator. So this is going to be x. So this, and press it on your calculator, negative 6 plus square root 12 equals divide 6. And I'm going to get negative 0.4. For 2, and for the other one, negative 6 minus square root 12. So negative 6 minus square root 12 equals, divide 6, and it's so 0, 0,42. Okay, let's just see if this, this is going to be correct. I just want to control it again on my calculator. So negative 6 minus square root 12 equals divide 2 equals and that's going to be uh, negative 1 comma 
five eight. That is going to be my answer. Okay, and this is actually very easy because this is what you do all over. As soon as you get something like this, just simplify it. Multiply out, take everything to one side, and then you say this is your A, this is your B, this is your C. Again, do substitution, and in this case, because this is zero, um, then it's only one value, and that means it's touching the graph at that point. Okay. I want you again to stop the video and I want you to do try now 31. Okay, so this will be 3x, 3x minus 14 equals 49. And if you start simplifying, this will, no, sorry, this is okay, 3 times 3 is 9x squared. And then I'm going to say 3 times 14. And that's going to be 42x and minus 49. Bring it over. Quadratic equations always take everything to one side and put it equal to 0. That's what you do. Okay. And then don't forget, let's take this, this is A, grab that sign, this is B, grab that sign, this is C. So if I have then my formula, again write down your quadratic formula, negative B plus minus B squared minus 4AC over 2A. So negative and now, almost I made that mistake, substitute negative 42. Plus minus b squared, so it's negative 42 squared minus 4a9c. Remember that sign. And a is 9. And now I'm just going to simplify. This is a bit bigger, so negative times a negative is a positive. And in this case, it's going to be 1764 minus 1764 over 18. And what is going to happen? It's going to be 42 plus minus 0, because the square root of 0, over 18. And then the value of x is going to be two and a third. So it's going to be exactly the same. Only one solution because the turning point is touching the x-axis. Okay, let's look at another one. Okay, so again exactly the same and this is actually the easiest method if you just know the formula. So and then if I do substitution, oh what is happening? I get a negative square root. And if you press it on the calculator, you're going to get an error. So basically, I'm just going to say it's not touching the x-axis. So there is no real numbers, thus the equation has no real roots. So as soon as you get a negative, just say no real roots, meaning the graph is not touching the x-axis. Okay, the final one I want you to do I want you to do for me just number A. Try now 32, just number A. So it's going to be 3x squared minus 5x plus 11 equals 0. So they write down the formula. So x equals negative b plus minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So it's negative, negative 5 plus minus b squared, negative 5 squared minus 4, and in the place of a, 3, the place of c, 11 over 2, and a is 3. And now I'll just simplify. Negative times negative, positive. This is going to be 25, 
and if I start multiplying, it's going to be 4 times 3 times 11, and that's going to be 1, 3, oh, sorry, the pen again. Two, and that's over six and that's going to give me five plus minus and then if I subtract this negative 107 and can you see what's happening just like we predicted almost there's a negative square root so therefore there is not a real number thus the equation has no real roots no real roots there is no solution And that will be the final answer. Okay, only some quadratic equations can be solved using factorization, but all quadratic equations can be solved using completing the square or the quadratic formula. That is very, very important. Okay, just to say, if A is 1 and B is even, complete the square is quick and easy. However, you can always use the quadratic formula, so make sure you memorize that formula. In the next video, we will look at fractions, solving fractional equations.